time. Its definition can be so vain. There are days, there are hours, there are minutes, and there are seconds. Yet, it can be timeless all at once. Could we really define time? When a minute could feel like hours, and an hour could even feel like days. Just frozen, fractured in time, as we wait for the tick of the clock to reach its destination. We could be so indulgent in our thoughts, introspecting the things we sought, which is maybe, just maybe if we start to look at the world around, as a whole, not a fraction, would that even make a difference? When time could just be an essence in disguise. We live in a society where instant gratification is succinct. Patience becomes indistinct, just like how writing a letter becomes absurd when it's not from a bubble appearing on the side of the screen. A desire to avoid delay, seizing the opportunity for our own desires. Not a minute later, nor a second. Impulsiveness becomes perceptible, and even waiting for a drink becomes unacceptable. Or, are you feeling something different? Where five years have felt like none, not having enough time to get things done, asking where had it all went when we hadn't looked at time like it was God sent. Have you ever wondered where had it all went wrong? Because you could have swore it hadn't been that long since you slept upon the pile of responsibilities and problems that haven't yet been unsolved. But truth to be told, it's killing you on the inside. It is where desire changes into undesire, where a minute becomes an hour and an hour turns into days. Temptation again sets in, just to fulfill the art of illusion for delayed gratification that only provides a spur of short-term satisfaction. So, how could we really define time? It's just an essence, an essence in which we choose to define a significance to ourselves in which to others its meaning cannot be confined.